uh, is uh, as binary as you're describing it? Are you confident that I it am. isn't a spectrum? I uh, am. Do you know I'm, this as a scientist? Well, there's there's two X chromosomes if you're a woman, an X and a Y. That means there's you're a man. There's a lot of so scientific a research out this. there. There's a lot of scientific research out there that says gender is a spectrum. Chuck, I, I respectfully disagree. Gender dysphoria for most of our history, all the way through the DSM-5, has been characterized as a mental health disorder. He's back! This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, get the merch link in the description section, get you one of these cold shirts like never before these shirts are blacked out we call it a blackout print we have a couple other shirts that we do like this where we black out the image we also have the white version of um, this same uh, shirt if you like it to be a little more bold front facing but we also have the uh, more discreet versions but go to the store get the merch discount code to pop up somewhere in the video so you can get a discount on the officer tatum store or tatum store you put in either one of them you'll get uh, the link or you can just click the link in the description section or you can see the carousel that's below me you can buy your shirt from there as well like and subscribe to the channel y'all already know what to do let's get in this ladies and gentlemen vivek vivek ramaswamy now i wish he had a different name because it'd be easier for me to say it and easier for everybody else in america to say it because most of us can't read however the dude is on point in his messaging on point in his articulation of facts that I have never seen somebody running for president, but I haven't been in the political game that long, so I'm just gonna keep it real. I have never seen anybody running for president that that have the skill set of being able to convey an articulable message of truth and facts with courage than Vivek Ramaswamy. Now, he in his 30s, believe it or not, you, you would be shocked because these 80 year olds can't even put a sentence together. He's in his 30s. I don't think he has a chance to beat Donald Trump, but as a candidate, the quality of, of, of this man is enough to run America. Just so happen, you have to have a lot of money or be incredibly famous to even have a chance. But on the mere merit, outside of his religion, because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm biased towards Christians, but outside of his religion, his merit his his intelligence his leadership all of those things in my opinion draws him to the top of the list i'm gonna make a bold statement and people ain't gonna want to hear this i honestly believe that vivek and trump in a debate vivek will sweep him over the floor with the toupee in a debate however the star power and and the accomplishments that trump already have put vivek at a disadvantage my opinion you could take it or leave it let me let you hear him just dismantle another left-wing reporter i don't even know why they have him on television because he's just smacking him last time he went on the show don lemon got fired now let's see what happened in this show because he's literally speaking the truth that stevie wonder could see wrote a clip but below the age of 18, I think it's perfectly legitimate to say that we won't allow genital mutilation or chemical castration through puberty blockers You're for the purpose it of that, gender transition. But how do you know it's that? Again, how do you know, are, are you confident that you know that gender uh, is... Uh, as binary as you're describing it? Are you confident that it isn't a spectrum? I am. Uh, do you know I'm, this as a scientist? Well, there's there's two X chromosomes. If you're a woman, an X and a Y, that means there's you're a man. There's a lot of so scientific a research out this. there. There's a lot of scientific research out there that says gender is a spectrum. Chuck, I, I respectfully disagree. Gender dysphoria for most of our history, all the way through the DSM-5, has been characterized as a mental health disorder, and I don't think it's compassionate to affirm that. I think that's cruelty. When a kid is crying out for help, mm -hmm. what they're asking for is, you gotta ask the question of what else is going wrong at home? What else is going wrong at school? Let's be compassionate and get to the heart yes. of that, rather than playing this game as though we're actually changing right. our medical understanding I, for the last I, I go 100 back years. To this. If a parent is dealing with a child that has these, that, yes. that may have these issues, trust me, the parent, the last thing they want to do is consider something like this. But if lies, that is what they think could help their child pursue happiness or they're not to kill themselves. That's it. I'm going to let them finish, but that's it. The, the talking points, there's talking points. The talking point when it comes to gender dysphoria is always suicide. Majority of these kids aren't committing suicide to start with. So why is it that that's a talking point? If you don't want your kid to commit suicide, 
We, we, we see transgenderism is going up, and we see the suicide numbers are going up. So to be honest, transitioning them is probably thrusting them into potentially committing suicide and self-harm or having suicidal ideations. Because the thing is, some people can't pull the trigger figuratively, figuratively and literally, and which is a good thing. But they're tormented with this, this lack of self-worth and purpose on earth. And when, you, when, you, when a little seven-year-old is forced into making a, a permanent decision that they're not fully aware of the consequences of, you're going to thrust them to the point of no return. Let me let him finish. I, why take away that option? Again, it, why shouldn't it be up to the parents? So w part of why parents now suddenly feel that way, let's ask ourselves that, Chuck, because we've created a culture that teaches parents that they're being bigoted or that they're bad people if they don't actually take those steps. So part of what I think is, listen, gender dysphoria for the rare few people who have suffered it mm -hmm. is a condition of suffering. My question is, why on earth are we going out of our way mm -hmm. to create even more of it? And there's no doubt that the cultural movement in this country, even education, is creating more gender dysphoria. If it's a condition of suffering, yeah. let's not create more of it. That's what we're doing. Shout out to MRC uh, News for the clip. He has an incredible point. You know, people say, like, like, think about this. There is no other phobia, phoria that people have that they're thrusted into and celebrated for. If you have gender dysphoria, that we should be trying to help with your dysphoria, right? Help you overcome the dysphoria. Because the dysphoria is making you feel like I'm in the wrong body. Why would you then thrust the person to further acknowledge that they're in the wrong body, right? Because it's a, it's a dysphoria. That means that you're not in the wrong body. We should be telling you that you're in the right body. We shouldn't be trying to change your body to match your mind. Your mind can change. Your body cannot change. That makes no sense whatsoever. That's like a white person going around thinking that they black. Well, you can't change the pigmentation in your skin enough to be qualified as a black person in our society. So how about we fix your mind and not your skin? That's easier. You can change a person's mind. The mind is malleable. The skin cannot change without some drastic surgery. And then if you change the skin, but the mind still don't feel confident because you weren't born this way, and you thrust them deeper into a psychosis. You, they put these kids in a position where they say, you are going to be a girl, little Johnny. He will never be a woman. You should have told him you will dress like a girl, little Johnny. You will appear. You will, you will appear in the image of what we believe a woman is, little Johnny. You will never be a woman. And little Johnny what goes throughout his life when he's young, believing I'm a woman, I'm a girl, just like they are. Because he don't understand the biological differences between a man and a woman. Only the, the, the fictitious external exposure of what appears to be like a woman. That's all little Johnny knows. But when little Johnny got a wig on and taking hormones and he's, he's up, up against adult women in his adult life, He's going to realize I'm not a woman. I don't have menstrual cycles. I do not have ovaries. I will never birth a human being ever. You know, even women who can't give birth, it, it weighs on them. It weighs on them significantly. Now, you, you tell a man that you promised would be a woman, know that they can never give birth. Is that not going to weigh on them? And then who's telling you, that you feel like a woman on the inside. i tell you this. Young girls don't know what a woman is. They don't know what it feels like to be a woman. They have never experienced womanhood. They're little babies. They're little kids. So how then, if a little girl doesn't really know what womanhood is because she's never experienced what it's like to be a woman, how can a little boy know, it, know that he's a woman instead of a boy or a, bo a girl instead of a boy? Who's, who's telling you, little Johnny, what you feel on the inside means you a girl? How would they know when they've never been a girl? How can they tell you that you feel like a woman? And then how do you know when you actually, you actually get the totality of feeling like a woman? 
let me let me give this point and i hope we record this part i want this part to be a separate video I, one thing that i never get is that in our natural state meaning that naked no clothes on no makeup you look in the mirror how do you say i'm a woman or a man it's, it's based on your biology. You physically are a woman. You're physically a woman. You, you, you know, or you're physically a man. You, you, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're trying to trick the mind into believing that the person is a woman. Because to be honest, if you really was born in the wrong body, what, what difference does it make? Why don't we just call men women and women men? You can still have a male body and be a woman, right? It's something deeper going on, and they don't want to talk about it. But we'll talk about it on another video. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out.